Right, you guys. <clears throat> right, you guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Another weed and sports related video. So, um, I came with I came with some snacks. Snacks. <laughs> Um, you might think broccolini is no snack, but the way you cook it, char grilled, with some nice spices, bit of salt, bit of pepper, it's absolutely delicious. Mm. I'm on a little bit of a, <clears throat> I'm on a bit of a cut at the moment, um, just trying to get my abs back. So we've got some orange soda. Who loves orange soda? <laughs> Soda. Or sun kissed as they call it here in Australia. And it's zero sugar and it's full flavour actually, believe it or not. Look, full flavour. <laughs> Is it true? Is it true? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, it's true. <laughs> zero sugar but full flavour, and I can actually attest to that. It's not full full, but it's half full. I do, I do, I do, I do, ew. <laughs> and it's enough for me. So, <clears throat> we're back, we're back for the fourth installment in this series of videos, which is looking at marijuana, specifically uh, medicinal marijuana, in the world of professional sports, professional football. Now with that in mind, this next video we're looking at is Stephen A. Smith and Max Kellerman having a heated debate back in 2017 about marijuana in the NBA. So first of all, we're going to watch this one. We're going to watch what two journalists uh, think about marijuana in the NBA. I want, you know, an outside perspective. And then we're going to watch another video titled, I think 85% of the league smoked former NBA players on cannabis in the NBA. And this video came out about six months after the previous one. So not only are we going to get an outside perspective, but we're also going to get an inside perspective. And I'm quite looking forward to it. So with that being said, let's get into the first video. Stephen A. Smith. What a legend. But first, I'm going to have to roll one up. I love orange soda. Some of you guys might not even remember what that's from. Nickelodeon. Back in the late 90s, I believe. I definitely wasn't smoking then. I will mention... For those of you who've just joined us recently, or just joined the channel recently, um, my name is Jacob McDonald and I am an ex-rugby player. Not professionally, although I will have some people uh, believe that, because they haven't asked me before, but if you do ask me if I played professional rugby, no I didn't. But I did play at you know various levels, and I followed the game for a number of years. And I've also done, you know, my fair share of, like, tutorial videos on the game. So, I come to you with, I guess, I guess the other thing is that I'm just so passionate about sports. I'm passionate about athletic ability. I'm passionate about watching it. I'm passionate about seeing players and, and teams bring new things to the game. It doesn't matter what game it is. Just bringing, just bringing something new to a game and being able to, you know, dominate it is amazing. And... I feel like, I feel like my career moving forward, I hope, will move into the realm of sports in some way. I do have a bit of knowledge, although I'm always working on expanding that, and I guess you need that knowledge before you even think about doing something like Stephen A. Smith is, like having a talk show or having a podcast or even getting into sports casting. You need that, that knowledge and, that, and that, that, uh, that sports lingo to come second nature, but we're always working on it. Anyway, regardless of that, I don't know whether I'll be able to smoke weed before doing it. In fact, I would never ever do that, but we are going to smoke a bit of weed before watching him. And that is because I am a fan. And that's another thing I'll let you know. Um, recently, I deleted all of the videos on my channel about smoking weed. Uh, as you get older, uh, as your rep reputation in the world ripens, um, you probably don't want that kind of thing on your record unless you are an advocate for it. And I was, you know, I've been confused for years. Am I for it? Am I against it? 
all I know is that medicinally it's definitely got its place and um, you know recreationally it's a lot safer than 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 most other mind altering substances so with all that being said I am gonna have a few puffs and we're gonna listen to good old Stephen A so let's do that I need everybody to understand because I brought this up on my radio show yesterday for medicinal purposes I'm not talking about that everybody knows that I lost my mother to cancer um, a few months ago game one of the NBA finals to be exact and my mother did not want to use medical marijuana it was something that my family uh, tried to get her to consider not me but others I didn't know enough about it um, and I left that research to my sisters and them and they tried to get her to do it she did not want to having said all of that has she elected to do so I've spoken to enough people who've used marijuana for medicinal purposes to understand that it has its positive effects and it's not something to be summarily dismissed. And I get that. I'm only speaking about recreational use of marijuana. I think it's abhorrent. I think it's ridiculous. They're talking about it in the NBA. David Stern suggests NBA should lift marijuana ban. Who is David Stern? Is he a commissioner or something? Do you have a problem with Stern saying this? And I don't support it at all in terms of the NBA legalizing it. If states want to legalize it, so be it. They want to tax it, so be it. So are you saying that only cancer... So are you saying that you have to get to a certain level of illness to warrant using marijuana as a painkiller? We're talking about painkillers. Yes. I feel like I'm on this talk show right now. How fucking buzzy is that? I could practice like that. I could literally pause it after he after he says something and then practice my my uh, rebuttals. That is extremely interesting. Um, of course, it shouldn't be allowed recreationally, but I guess if they're going to lift the ban, you know, they're not going to test it for medicinal or recreational purposes. Um, I think that I think Stephen A is missing the point. I feel like most athletes that would use marijuana I think that most athletes that would use this marijuana if the ban was lifted would use it for you know pain and recovery purposes uh, not for recreational purposes I just I don't get this let's be it but I don't believe that a paying customer should take money out of their hard-earned take hard-earned money out of their pockets to patronize an NBA product to walk to a game and see some dudes walking up courtside high I don't believe that. And I can say that because I have seen instances where it has occurred. I'm not going to mention it. <laughs> that would be quite funny, actually, being courtside of the NBA game, looking at the players and looking at, looking at the players as a, as a fellow smoker and being like, you're high right now. Ha. Are you high? And if they were, can you imagine that feeling, being high? on weed for our fellow smokers out there look imagine having a, a a nice a nice buzz going you know everything's enhanced you're feeling really good and playing in an NBA game in front of like a home crowd doing a dunk on someone can you imagine that ha. that would be whole that would be hairs on your neck type shit times a hundred just let him go just let him go Steven come on mate any names but I've seen it up close and personal where a dude goes in and you got a coach sitting there calling a play and the, and the player's like huh <laughs> yeah you've <laughs> yeah you've seen that side of it okay okay yeah 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 he's abused it okay he hasn't used it properly rocking back and forth hell no I don't want to hear that I don't want to see it I don't want it endorsed I don't want it okay and under no circumstances am I accusing the commi the former commissioner of the NBA for endorsing that because I know that's not what he means no he's taking it from the standpoint that if it's been legalized in multiple states and it's expected to be legalized in even more states how are we going to call it illegal I'll answer the question for him because David Stern is far more brilliant than I could ever hope to be and he's accomplished and I love the mayor personally but let's be clear you do have situations where the NBA is a private industry. You can do what the hell you want. You understand? Let me tell you something right now. It might be, look, we could go to Colorado. We could go to L.A. 
We could go someplace else where marijuana's legalized. Let Stephen A. Smith roll on the air high and watch what ESPN and Walt Disney do, does to me. Let's stop the nonsense and start acting like, oh, because it's legal in a state, that means that you should be allowed to come into your place of business with, with you know, high or smoking high weed and all of this stuff like it's going out of stock. Hell no. Hell no. It is, uh, if people can't... <laughs> <laughs> well, look, it would be up to the user to determine you know, what level of use they, what they want to do. If they want to be at their peak performance, they will know deep down that they shouldn't be under the influence because you're not at your peak performance. But, but for recovery, sleep purposes, and pain relief, it definitely makes sense. Now, but the thing is, guys, it's still going to be illegal to drive under the influence. So that means that if you are smoking before you come to work and you turn up, ha! then you've just broken the law. So no, you wouldn't expect anyone to turn up to work if they're driving high or ha. But look, you know, Stephen, I guess I do kind of agree with you at, at, to a certain point. It, it depends what industry you're in, but if you are a business owner and you've got a team of people and you're in a state or an area that does uh, legally allow marijuana for recreational use, and you're unaware, it puts you in a predicament because you're unaware whether your staff are, are high or not. And, you know, if you put some clear eyes in, no one knows. And so it is a bit worrying and I would want to put certain, you know, rules in place within my business to make sure that it didn't happen. Now, look, you know, Stephen, you know, I guess you are right to a certain point. It depends what industry you're in, but I do agree. If I was a business owner and my staff were operating, you know, heavy machinery, for example, and I, I was operating my business within a state or within an area that did have legal marijuana and I didn't know whether my, I genuinely didn't know whether my staff were high or not and they didn't have to tell me because legally they were allowed to, you know, you put some clear eyes in and, and no one knows, um, you know, I, I, you would want to put policies in place within your business doors but then you do run into trouble because as soon as you go out those doors, it's completely legal. What to do, what to do. Medicinal marijuana is safe. I guess states should worry to a certain extent if they are legalizing it for re recreational use. But like I was saying before, you know, if, if someone turns up to work high already, that means they've just broken the law. Unless they ride the train or ride the bus. And I can imagine riding the train or bus to work high would actually be quite enjoyable. Meh, it is what it is. Very monotonous jobs, monotonous, monotonous jobs, jobs that, uh, you know, are, are brain numbing, mind numbing. A bit of weed beforehand wouldn't hurt. But, uh, you know, when we're talking about things like the NBA and the NFL, you need to be on the top of your game. You need to be listening to the, the coach and being able to understand and articulate what they're saying uh, and not go... Ha! Then uh, I suppose you're right, but let's, let's continue. People can't be disciplined enough to refrain from it. That's their problem. I don't want to see that. Hold on. I don't. This is not about showing up to the game high. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fucking Stephen A. Smith just has, has just seen someone in the huddle, like looking tired with red eyes, which happens to me when I've run around a lot. Just being tired from play and he thinks he's high. We're not even talking about that Stephen A. Smith. We're talking about the medicinal side. We're talking about after the game. When you go and administer yourself some pain relief. When you go and throw those pills away. When you don't go and ask your doctor for, for more pills and more pills. Now let's try that one. That one's not working anymore. No, fuck all that. Lift the ban on marijuana and let the players decide themselves. The only person, the only people that that would have a negative impact on is you watching courtside, watching everyone like a hawk, looking into their eyes when all they want to do is have a drink and sit down with a towel, and the pharmaceutical companies who will sell less painkillers to less athletes because they will be medicating themselves in the comfort and safety of their own home. Now, 
No one is saying the players should be high when they play. That's Duh, not what I'm saying either. Said that. I'm saying they because will. There they are, will. They, because, blah, 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 blah. because there are examples of players who've shown up high, that's a reason to outlaw recreational use on someone's own time. It's absurd on its face. Many baseball players have Yo, shown oh, up. Oh, 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 World oh, oh, Series, oh, 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 no, no, World accurate. Series you games. You said your own time. Have, no, answer that. World you said your own time. What do you mean your right. own time? Be specific. Be specific. After work. After work. After five o'clock. On game days, after midnight. Playing the game, not the I'm night you play about that. You can't show up high. You can't show up high. But after the game, what you go off and do is your business. Now, many pitchers throw like David Wells. <laughs> <laughs> what is Stephen A. thinking right now? He just wants to blast him, doesn't he? But he's 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 slowly loading the gun. In the bar, drunk, pitched a perfect game. He should be allowed to. I'm against that too. Of course, but that doesn't mean that you say they can't drink alcohol on their own time. Particularly a league that is in bed with companies that peddle alcoholic beverages. It is absurd if that's the standard that especially once marijuana is legalized to set if the bar is alcohol, marijuana passes that threshold. Every credible peer-reviewed study ever done will Ridiculous. tell you alcohol is worse society Ridiculous. and for the individual is it certainly is no better than weed in fact it's usually worse according to every study ever done so what, uh, the that study, the study, study, studies. studies have you been inside a locker room have you been caught side and seat some of these dudes I'm yes. telling you right now Matt yes. here's what I'm telling you well whatever here's what I'm telling you as a fact Trust me when I tell you this. <laughs> what are you going to say, bro? If you can do it recreationally without any repercussions, they will show up to the game that way. Some you will. Can book some it. will, and they should you be. You can book and they it. Should be. I've got to admit, having been able to, you know, so called keep it under control recreationally, and certainly not turn up to my day job high, I have dabbled in turning up to a rugby game high and I really really enjoyed myself so I can certainly see his point so it would be up to the player whether or not they want to turn up to work high or it's up to the team to make sure to rule it out I mean do they can can they conduct you know drug tests within their organization if the NBA was to lift the marijuana ban can they do that if they can't then then there is a problem Penalized on a case by case basis. Oh, what do you mean penalized? What's shocking to me, what's what shocking to me is David Stern. David Stern, if you show up high, if it can, you know, then that is a bad thing. You should be benched or not play that game, whatever. The point is, they are fine. Yeah, I mean, what do you do? It's like, fuck, you, it's, you're not their dad. I mean, what do you do? If they still perform, they still play, it's like, do you just turn a blind eye? Go, even, if I, even if I do become sober and never smoke again and. You know, I, I, I know, I will always know, having smoked it for years and years, how it can help and, and how you can still perform physically, uh, you know, under the influence. How you can perform quite, uh, you know, intricate tasks still, very effectively. In fact, for longer periods of time. You can actually concentrate on one thing for a longer period of time without getting distracted, or at least that's what I feel. So that's, that's an advantage too. Maybe you would want your players to start dabbling in it. No, you probably wouldn't actually. David Stern, just as if you show up drunk, the same thing. David Stern, uh, David Stern, great commissioner, is sitting here saying that Sanjay Gupta's CNN report opened his eyes about medical marijuana and recreational marijuana. And that's absurd. He was the, he was the, he ran a professional sports league that, 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 that wouldn't allow people to do something. Like, he had no knowledge of this. The prohibition against marijuana is based almost exclusively on a government propaganda campaign. Oh, that was stop it. You would just not. It was, government it propaganda. Was, I'm talking right. reality. Harry, I'm talking about I'm, dudes showing up to I the game. To, no, 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 no. I, I've seen I it. <laughs> reality. Showing up to the game. Ha! I am addressing We're going to take a your... quick break and get back to it. Yeah, I need to please. Why even bother I, listening? Well, now, right now, Molly? Yeah, no, let's go to break. Let's okay. go to break. Go ahead. What I'm about to say, I'm... <laughs> Fucking hell. Let's see what's uh, recommended here. Al Harrington and David Stern talk. 
medical marijuana. James Harden behind the beard. What does he actually look like without a beard? I'd like to see that. Um, NFL 100 all-time team. Actually, I have to save that one to later. You know what? I think that's I think that's going to be it for, for Stephen A. Smith. And then, like I said before, first of all, we watched the journalists, see what they had to say. Um, hey, very interesting. Extremely relevant to what we're going to watch next because we're now, now we're going to listen to actual NBA players talk about how they used it in the league. Did they get high before games? And if so, what did it do for them? That's what we're going to find out on the next video. Stay tuned, guys. If you've enjoyed it, hit the like button. Have a fantastic Christmas. It's probably going to be New Year by the time you see this, but it's all good. Have a great day, and um, I'll see you later. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends. I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now.